time to die. You leave me alone. What exactly is going on here? You can put the mace away now. They're dead. You... Who are you? Are you with these... These... Reavers? No. I'm... Well, actually, simply passing through. I just happened to be passing a blade through when pressed. Rather dark, but true enough, I suppose. Why did you help me? Because you're not one of them and I don't have a license to kill you. I'm sorry? Half a joke. You can't see me, can you? No, obviously. I can hear you, more or less, though you don't stomp around like the rest of this lot. Who are you? You sound Dunmer, but... I'm Myth Idros. Dunmer, but not a reaver. Myth? Yes. Is that your real name? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? That... must be a Dunmer thing. But... What are you doing? Looking for anything that might help either of us. Just like that. Just like what? We've barely met, we've killed some thugs, and now you're just... helping me? Of course. That's what people do. Not these people. I don't know what they were expecting to get out of me. I was... I'd just gotten out onto a path, I think, and they just came out of nowhere. You're a woman, you're attractive, you were alone, and they were malicious. I know what they were thinking. Oh. Oh. Frankly, the attractive part probably wouldn't have mattered to them. They had all sorts dead in cages in the other room. What armor do you wear? Or... I assume you have some combat training, considering... Well, hold on. Just... It, it, you can't just say something like that and... But... Who are you? What are you? Why are you? <laughs> I'm... Miss Idros. Not a reaver. Not a bandit. Just well trained. And I happen to be heading to Skyrim on business. This was simply the most expedient way to get there. <laughs> you... you expected to get through a reaver den? Just like that? Did you think it would be empty? Well, I did expect them to look at my papers before they started trying to gut me. Sadly for them. And again, what armor are you trained with? I'm assuming you can fight, miss. Oh. Oh, sorry. Cyrilata. You can call me Syrah if you like, and I don't actually have much combat training. I was supposed to be a mage, though I never much liked destruction magic. You're kidding me. You can't fight. Well, obviously I can, I just don't have any formal training. How on earth did you manage to... You can't see. I was under the impression you were relying on muscle memory. Well, I can see a little bit, but it's mostly just light and shadow and very, very blurry. But I can tell what I'm looking at, for instance, a lantern or whatever that thing is. If you stand between it and me, I can tell you're standing between it and me, but I can't tell how far or anything like that. Between that, being able to hear and just... <laughs> holding out the stick and waiting for people to hit it, trying to get at me, I was honestly just winging it. Luckily, you don't have to worry about edge alignment with a mace. Some wings. Sound strategy, if unorthodox. Heavy armor for you, then. It might take some getting used to, but if you're going to just stand there and take hits, you'll want something that can, well, take hits. Thank you. I think. You're not just doing this because you're intending to take advantage of me, are you? No. I'm doing this because I don't want to have to watch your back too much while we fight our way out of here. I'm used to working alone, and it would be a shame to meet you and then just... 
let you die because I didn't think to give you something more substantial than a robe. I do have some morals. That should be a relief, but I feel like that implies you also lack some morals. Oh, I'm absolutely a bastard in some situations. It's just that I'm honest about it and tend to direct it at other bastards. Why does that make me feel better? Here, let me... let me rephrase myself. Would you like me to help you get this armor on, or would you rather figure it out yourself while I scout ahead? Uh... Oh, perhaps show me the pieces and then go scout? Actually, to be honest, given the chance between being left alone in a place with which I am completely unfamiliar, with no guarantee that you'll be back, and you seeing me mostly disrobed? I think I'd rather stick with you, unfortunately. Unfortunately, she says. I understand completely. Here, I'll lay out the pieces, point you to them, won't otherwise touch you unless you get stuck. And I'll stay nearby asking you inane questions so you know I'm still around. I have no idea how to read you, Myth Idros, but lacking most other options, let's do that. You can just call me Myth. Oh, and please know Mr. Idros, or Master Idros, that's my father. <laughs> Fair enough. Your injuries look recent. Did the Reavers take out your eyes, or if that isn't too sensitive a question? I was honestly expecting you to ask me what happened, so no, not insensitive, and frankly I'm glad to have an excuse. An excuse? Oh, yes. So, this is recent. The Reavers didn't do this, the Thalmor did. I said some things I shouldn't have, and they made an example of me. My family disowned me, the cannon roof broke my callion, thus basically excommunicating me from Alinor society in general, and then they stuck me on a boat to Northwatch Keep and let me stare out at the waves the whole way from Shimmering to Skyrim, and then I got here with orders for my execution by exposure or torment, and they decided to combine the two for the worst possible combination of both worlds, and cut out my eyes before dragging me across Skyrim in the cold, half-naked, just to drop me in a cave at the arse end of the province. <laughs> they had me marching for two days straight. Oh, I'm sorry. You seem surprisingly collected, given everything that's happened in the space of two days. I'll be honest, I've been operating this whole time out of sheer spite and have the worst headache I ever could have dreamed possible. I wouldn't say I've quite accepted my fate just yet, as much as I've been ignoring it in favour of surviving. Prudent, and quite frankly terrifying. Thank you, I think. Though, if and when we do get out of here, if you could drop me off at the nearest healer, that would be wonderful. There are all manner of nasty things that could be happening in my skull right now, and none of them bear too much thinking about for the moment, lest I do devolve into a sobbing mess. As long as you don't mind going back into Skyrim. <laughs> uh, not at all. All of this happened because I made the foolish mistake of defending Talos the God to my own brother, I don't expect the Nords will welcome me with open arms, considering everything, but at very least I hope my stance is worth something to them. What you need, besides a medic, is a long rest and some food, I think. Oh, gods, don't remind me about the food. Ah. Sorry. Also, I might have something that could help you. Oh, really? What is it? Well, they had a ring in there, and I picked up. I intended to sell it. But I'm not a restoration mage, and you might be. Oh. Well, I'll attempt to put it to good use. Here. Now. The trick will be you staying behind me, right? Uh, potentially. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't quite know how to... I I'm doing my best. Uh, I'm sort of using my stick to get around. So don't go too far. Um, and just kind of tell me 
if there's, you know, ramps or anything, I don't really... I'm, I'm still trying to get used to this a bit. I understand. It's a bit enclosed here, so... And there's a ramp. Oh, found it. Okay, so... The stick works. Right, there's another one. Taller. We're just going to keep moving forward. Okay. Oh, did, did you get him? I did. I'm surprised he didn't hear us. Or well, maybe he did. One moment. Right. What was that? Me casting a spell. We should be... Perhaps not in the clear. Why have we stopped? I'm just surveying. Or attempting to. I'm also trying not to get too far ahead of you. Oh, don't worry about that. I can sort of hear your footsteps. It is rather squishy and ashy underfoot, so... Careful. Don't trip on that rock there. That rock where? Right. Speeding up. Okay. What am I hearing? I don't know. Birds nesting somewhere. It's nearly dawn, I think. Oh, good. Day three in Skyrim. Ow. I stubbed my toe. Don't worry about it. Alright. Door. And we're in a tunnel. Okay. Probably Reaver's ahead. Be stealthy. Me stealthy in this hour, surely you jest. I can't exactly be stealthy when I'm poking things with a stick. Well, I, I suppose I can I can try to be stealthy, Reavers. Let me handle it. Okay. Not sound good. It wasn't. Myth? How did you. Right, you're some sort of mage. Uh, yes. I'm sorry, did I hit you with the bow? Uh, I think so. I think that's what that was. Amulet of Debella. Oh. I've heard many things about how northerners... Uh, ...worship Debella. It, frankly... ...is... I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Hmm. A book. Oh! Oh. Yes? Ah, uh, well, I was going to ask if you would grab that for me, and then realized... There is, of course, a reason that they... ...decided to blind me. Ah. Uh. And a locked chest, which I can't pick because I'm out of picks. Well, I would assume that a chest is locked for a reason, wouldn't it be? 
Not necessarily. Ah, a pull chain. Where? There. What's that sound? Secret door. Secret door with a big chest. And very old weapons. And a very nasty scroll. Otherwise, not much. Okay. Narrow passage. More lanterns. That much I can tell. Right, this is going to take some getting used to for both of us, isn't it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe a bit. Ow. You alright? Oh, yes. It's just that looking at bright things is... Not something that I should be doing. It gives me more of a headache now that I don't really exactly have the immediate response of looking away. I am more aware of it. I'm still working on this whole thing. I understand. Take your time. What was that? Well, time to die, hero. <laughs> well done. Thank you, I think. I did get them, and not you? Yes, in fact, I might have hit you at some point. I apologize. Here. This one had a better mace. Oh? Better than this one? Well, I assume. It has spikes on it. So you may have to worry about edge alignment a bit more, but... It should be more useful for getting through armor. Oh. Alright. It feels different. I would assume it would. Right, now I would go and explore some of these... ...whatever's going on here. Doors and the walls. But, we need to get you to a healer, right? I... that would be most helpful, yes? Alright. We're outside again. Okay, yeah, I sort of figured that much, given the change in noise. Down slope, there's a dog. I'm not sure if it's going to attack us. We'll find out. Oh! Ah, uh, I think I got it. Yes. That has much better range than my daggers. You're a mage and... Well, actually, that does make some sense, I suppose. There's cobblestones in here. Yes. Hello. And more bastards. Well. How are you doing that? Oh, it's just something I can do. Have you ever known... I don't know... artists? Oh, well, yes, I'm... I'm from Shimmerine. I know plenty of artists. You know how they always go on about it's just something they can do? Ah... Uh... Actually, no. Where I'm from, that's generally considered a skill that it takes years and years of practice to... Uh, master? I suppose? So, no? 
Right, well, my casting is rather just an innate skill, which I have had practice with, but... I'm not actually, hello, sure how I do it. Something about jumping through space. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Looks like we got ourselves Ouch. A hero. Uh. Very nice. Time to die, Outlander. Who are you calling Outlander? Uh. I'm from Blacklight, you idiot. I suspect he was calling me Outlander. I'm not sure if he had line of sight on you. That's fair. You do tend to be rather stealthy. Just as far as I've noticed. You're quite light on your feet. Good training is all that is. So you're... what, a mercenary? Or... something? I wouldn't... oh, this is tricky right here. It goes downhill, but it's awkward. Haha! <laughs> ah, okay. Learning how to use the stick. Yes. There's also a rock here you might bump your foot on. Right. Someone there. Oh dear. What? Lava. Oh. That would explain the sudden increase in temperature and also the smell of rotting eggs. That'll be sulfur, won't it? It will, indeed. Well. Might as well take that. Take what? Oh, they seem to be smuggling Mars tea. I don't think it's illegal in Skyrim, but... I suspect it's also not common in Skyrim. I'm not taking any chances with that one. What, with the Mazti? No, there's someone on the bridges out here. And I missed. Ah! Uh -huh. I heard that. I didn't miss a second time. Now be careful, these bridges are rickety and wooden. Which strikes me as... just... Brilliant engineering, doesn't it? Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Don't get too far ahead. I will do my best. Oh, narrow planks, be careful. Narrow planks? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Indeed. I can feel that. I can- there's heat right under my boots. Be glad you're in bone mold. It's somewhat more heat resistant than what I'm wearing. Oh, what are you wearing? Chitin, mostly. Which is... bone mold, but not. Not treated the same way. Uh huh. Would you like a cloak? Uh, not right at the moment. It's quite warm. I found the body. With the stick? With the stick. Right, we're on solid ground again. Thank you. I think. Ugh, oh, the smell. You sort of get used to it when you're from, well, Morrowind. The wind blows wrong and you can smell Red Mountain from Blacklight. Ah. Lovely. Uh, 
Oh, are we coming out? I see something. Sort of. Uh, no, that's just a lantern. Oh, good. Oh, <laughs> my head. I would ask if you're alright, but that's sort of... Yeah. Hmm. I... Yeah, not alright would be... Apt. That is a, a accurate description of me right at the moment. Another bridge. Okay, thank you. And a bastard. Is someone there? <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Although I think I've run ahead of you somewhat. Uh, perhaps a bit. You are braver than I expected. You expected me to not be brave? I grew up in Shimmerine, which is currently controlled by the Thalmor, as is everywhere else in Alinor, so... I sort of don't have a choice in the matter. Fair enough, I suppose. So you were supposed to be a mage, but don't like destruction. That is correct. I much prefer the healing arts. My brother is the wizard of the family. Hmm. Quiet. Well. Is someone there? Maybe. That is terrifying. You just explode out of nowhere. And Right. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that before. It's a talent. Huh. What? They have a house redder and flag in here. <laughs> For some reason. They don't exactly uphold House Redder in morals, if you ask me. Ouch. Maybe a bit. Huh? Oh, sorry. You might want to get ready. Okay, readying. There's someone there. Oh, coming straight through in front of us. Uh, oh. Oh. Malakath, take you. Right. Uh, what happened? Yeah, she, uh, lost her head. Ah, <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. I'm in the way, aren't I? Well, a narrow doorway. Eh, locked. Of course. Nerevar Moon and Star. Oh. Is that a book? It is. A selection from a series of monographs by various Imperial scholars on Ashlander legends. Oh. I would like to read that. Unfortunately... <laughs> would you like me to read it to you? Uh... maybe. I sort of... oh, sorry. I sort of hate to ask, because it it just feels weird. I've never had to, I haven't had to ask someone to read something for me since I was a child. 
But, in lieu of any other options, perhaps when we get into town, assuming we'll get into town somewhere safe and whatnot, Yes, there. Right. I'm actually looking to head for Winterhold or Riften or Windhelm, which I've heard is just a, a beautiful place. Was that sarcasm? A bit. There are rather interesting rocks here. Okay, watching my feet. If I ever overdo it, let me know. Careful. I heard that. I think I got him. You did. Well done. Thanks. The stick as shield is coming in quite handy. Very good. Very good. What have they got in here? Ebony ore. That sells for quite a bit, but it's heavy. Oh, are they smuggling ebony into Skyrim? That would be interesting. I'm not entirely sure why they would do that, though. Well, perhaps Skyrim doesn't have the best ebony mines. That would be my guess. Now, where is the way out? <laughs> Don't ask me. One of these ways. I don't know which one's the one we came in from. That one, I think. Okay. So you're going to be just as lost as I will be? More or less. Ah, lovely. Well, that's not true. I do have a map. Oh! Good. I think. It isn't a particularly well-marked map. Great. Ah. Oh? It smells... not ashy. Nope, I believe. We're about to enter Skyrim. Yay! Fresh air! Wow. Wow? Oh. Oh. What? Well, stairs for one thing. For another, there's a mage battle happening just under our feet. Sort of. Oh, good. I take it back. A saber cat won. A what? Oh. Oh, nasty things, those. Oh dear. Okay, so now we want to head downhill because downhill generally means towards water, which generally leads towards civilization, right? What? I'm boggling at your survival instinct. Ah, uh, it's not instinct. I've just read way too many books. I, I don't know if that's actually a thing that's helpful or... All I know is that we'll want to get to civilization sooner rather than later, I think. Right. One moment, if you please. I'm going to get out of what I'm wearing because it's rather... Obvious. Okay. I just don't want people to look at me and assume things. Like what? Well, like I'm a reaver or something. Okay. I'm 
going to need a new pair of gloves, I think. Indeed. Oh well. Keep wearing those for the moment. So, that didn't take long. On we go. It's... What exactly did you have to change? Oh, just took off some chitin plate. It makes me look well off and I don't want to be robbed. That makes sense. Oh goodness, the brush here. Indeed. Try not to trip over things. I'm leading us around the saber cat. Okay, thank you. And downhill. Indeed. Oh, it's very shrubby. Okay. <coughs> oh, pine in my mouth. Thank you. And here we have, I don't know what, some kind of cave and a path. Good. Right. And now we're heading uphill, following the path. Ah, that would be why it is a hard-packed surface and not scrabbly, gravelly stuff. And the sun is coming up. Oh, good. Oh, that's nice. Ah, uh, it's nice to be somewhat warm and in a slightly more humid place than those tunnels. Alright. Can you follow me if I run? Uh, probably. You make more noise when you run. Just make sure to tell me if there's anything in the way. Well, it's all woodland out here, so... And rocks. Oh, I see. Well, <laughs> sort of. Oh, this is going to take some getting used to. I doubt there's anything that can be done about it at this point, but... Oh well. This is just my life now, I suppose. You stopped. Yes, there's a log in the way. Oh, okay. I'm also not sure what this place is. Some sort of Dwemer ruin, it looks like. Though it doesn't have any of the big spires on it. I don't know what a Dwemer ruin looks like to begin with, so... Stairs. Steep stairs. Be careful. Alright, watching the stairs. Oh dear. Indeed. Well, they're sort of the ruins anyway. They're stonework with sort of geometric archways. Oh. I can picture that, I think. Ah, and we've found a road. Excellent. Ah, interesting. What? It looks like someone's got a pack gua out here, which is not what I was expecting. Ooh, I've always wanted to see a... Well, meet a gua up close. Well, this will be your chance, I think. Uh, let me take care of this wolf first. I suppose I could skin it and take it into town, but... Oh, right. Are you a hunter? <laughs> Not... as such. Hello. Make it quick. Mm. Lovely Gua. Peddler, then. Just what you see here. Very nice. Hmm.
Plenty of books. But... One is enough for now, I think. Right. Uh, what are you doing? Making some coins so that we aren't completely unprepared when we head for town. Ah. You might be able to use that. What? An amulet of Julianos. Okay. You might be able to resell that. And good enough. I won't take any more of your time, sir. Until next time. Indeed. Oh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Trying to get around uh people, places. We found the road? We found the road. Yes, you told me that. There's cobbles underfoot. And wolves absolutely everywhere. Okay. There's also a massive bonfire up ahead, and I don't know what exactly made it. Good. Always good. <laughs> oh dear. So I take it you're as unfamiliar with Skyrim as I am? I suspect so. I'm not going to deal with them. Think you can keep up? I can certainly try. Are we running? We are. Sorry. <laughs> Your feet don't exactly make much noise. So, uh, just tell me when we're running or when we're walking and why does it smell like rotten eggs around here? It's a volcanic giant. Giant? There's a giant and a mammoth. Oh. Oh, right. Skyrim has all manner of strange and wonderful flora and fauna. Fauna is the word I was looking for. Sorry. So I'm guessing the giant made the bonfire. That would follow, yes. Wolves? Wolves. Actually, they may not tangle with us. Oh? Oh, that makes sense. A lone wolf probably won't think that somebody in heavy plate armor is worthwhile as prey, I would assume. Seems so. He'd vent, be careful. Okay. Oh, I see. Sort of. Oh dear. We're running. Oh, okay, sorry. You don't need to apologize. It's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, yeah it is. Running. Oh, on my way. Myth? I'm still in front of you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's sort of catching up with me a bit. I sort of- it, it feels a bit dreamlike so far, but... There's also a wolf. We'll want to move on. Uh-huh. Okay, lead on. Straightforward. Okay. And the road curves slightly to the left up here. Okay. There's a tiny little town here. And a bear. Okay. 
I missed. Oh, it's big. Hit it. Hit it again. I've never fought a bear before. I've never fought much of anything before. Well, you got it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. That was... <laughs> Actually, I'm sort of wondering if not being able to see it helped. I wasn't... I mean, I'm scared of it, obviously, but not... Uh, paralyzed, because I don't... I... Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's... it's alright. There's a tiny little town here. Would you like to stop and see if they have a healer? Ah. Uh, Well, we can look around, of course, uh, I suppose, and sort of judge the reaction of people seeing an Altma and a Dunma travelling together. Sounds like a plan to me. Straightforward. Okay. Running. Okay. Career. I've been looking for you. Oh, sorry. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Sorry. Your hands only. Let's see. Here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Ooh. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. A Jarl? That's what they call the I suppose lords and ladies around here. Oh. Oh good. Why would a Yarl be contacting you? That's a very good question. Excuse Everything me. Everything all right? We're a bit lost, but yes. Well, we're not <laughs> lost, we just don't know what this place is. Well, okay, that sort of counts as being lost, doesn't it? A bit. Wow. What was that sound? Another gua. A big black and white one. Striped. Very pretty. Interesting. I don't expect to find much Morrowind things on this side of the... Ugh. Strange noises. I would say they're sort of cute, but I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone outside of Morrowind would find them cute. Right. So, does this place have... Uh, healers or anything that you can see? They have a smith. We might be able to get you some better armor than what you're wearing. Ooh. I would not be opposed to that at all. Particularly since this came off of a dead body, and I smell like it. Understood. Let's go talk to the smith then. Follow me. Uh, up and right. Sort of right, left, right. I'll just follow the sound of your voice. Oh, I think I followed too far. The good thing about having ears like ours is that as far as I've been able to tell, we hear directions better than men, I think, as far as I've read. That's just one of those things that I've been thinking about constantly over the last couple of days and counting my blessings, uh, as few of them as there may be right at the moment. Uh, that hammering. Yes. Dunmer Smith. Hello. Yes. Right. Would you happen to be able to craft this fine woman some armor? Yes. Straight to the point, I see. Right. Well, let's work with this kind gentleman, shall we? Of course. Ah, uh, let me... 
I don't know much about armor, so I'll let you do the talking. Right. So here's what I'm thinking. 